Hello, how are you doing and welcome to the channel. In this episode we are back on the island. We're going to give it a little break from Aberration because the Easter event has just kicked off which means it's times three breeding. So we've got lots of dinos that we want to breed. Starting with these two here. Sky Devil, Tropical Crystal Wyvern. They're not the best stats. Give us a look. Has this got levels in? Yeah, they've both got levels in. But the stats are more than good enough, and I really like the colours. I got these mutations myself, so whenever I get mutations and stats myself, it always kind of makes us hang on to the air. Uh, dinosaurs, if I'm being honest. Same as these here. When I got these two, Mr. and Mrs. Dweller, they had less than 900 melee. But I've gotten imprints, so this is a this is a thyla from their line. These are thylas from their line, and we've eventually getting up at nine two nine on the melee on them as well. I've been offered better thylas over the years, obviously, but I don't know. I really like the colours on these, and it's it takes so long to breed the stats you want into the colours you want. That's why this event's perfect. So these are going to be set on breeding as well. Give us a lot of this. Female, male, female. Stick the male in the middle. That's my favourite colour, this one here. So what I'm trying to do is get the best stats from this one here. Into that there. That's also what I'm trying to do here as well. I want the stats from this Rex here. Into the colours of this Rex. We're trying to get the best stats possible we can from these. These two have got the stats that I want. I think they're like 20k health, 900 melee, which is good enough. The only problem is, as you can see, the level on this is too high, 449. If I go higher than that, it's just going to despawn. So I need to get them into this level, 363. So that's kind of a work in progress at the minute. The eggs were going to hatch. Uh, I'm sure I've got some babies I want to get we definitely want to be raising this giga 755 melee I kind of fucked up on my gigas to be honest I bred my gigas with a male giga that had over 1k melee I put the eggs out and I forgot about them so they all died so I'm still stuck back with me 750 melee gigas but that's the way it goes 750 melee is more than good enough and we've definitely got a lot of eggs that we want to get out so these are the megalosaurus eggs I'm working on these are the giga eggs that I'm working on also we've got some decent drake eggs that we're going to crack off that one that one that one that one that one these are the rex eggs I'm not bothered about the snarl and the anchor yet um, we might as well get them eggs out as well. Fucking too heavy. So we'll get them egg. Oh shit. Get that guy back up there. So these have got an hour left on them. Hmm. An hour and a half on them. 30 minutes on them. Great. Now the cool thing about the wyvern eggs is because it's times three this will just raise totally on its own. Obviously I'll need to imprint on it but I will not need to feed it, it'll just raise all the way. I need to go and do a meat run, that's for sure. And we'll have a look see if there's any other air babies that we want to raise. What have we got here? What's this Rex? 380, the level's too high. 379. I mean, the level is a little bit too high. 379, 379. Me theories. Me aren't the best. Ah, we want this Quetz. For sure, we definitely want this Quetz. So we'll get these Denos out. So yeah, we'll probably just crack all these eggs off tonight. Hopefully I get the right colours and the right stats that I want. If I do, we can just bang them to one side, quickly raise them, 
not bother too much about imprinting just yet. And then we can just start cranking loads of babies out. Because this is going to be my new right line of Rexes. This stat into that colour. That's definitely what we want. We definitely want to work on getting these stats into that colour. It's all just a clusterfuck. But it's all just things that I like to potter on and do. So we'll go and get meat run done. So I normally have these doors open and this is the reason why people come in here when they kind of get back out. <laughs> Fuck's sake. They're only low level so it doesn't matter. So yeah, this is my, my little slice of pie on the map. I've got this arena here. We sometimes have battles in it. My son set up this here. If anybody comes on, the door is always open and everything in here is unlocked. Smithy. If you want to just get some st starter shit together, he's a canny bear he is. My original base was over here. Exactly here where uh, this guy's took over now, Draw. The reason I moved to here is because when I air. Uh, transferred my character to a different server I lost the character and I had to start my character all over again so we had to move I lost ownership of the base and everything it was a really fuck on to be honest but obviously we rebuilt got the character back up it's not hard so yeah this is the back of my base I don't know I've said this before I used to have a boat in here but an alpha lead spawned in the back of here. I mean, what, what's the fucking chances? Spawned in at me boat. Yeah, we're not going to be breeding no water dinos in this event. There's no need. Tech pad. Tech jump pad gets us up here nice and easy. I've got everything I need up here as well. I think I've already done a base too. I'm not going to bother doing all that shit again. Plenty of element in there. We might as well raise a couple of Tyranodons as well. Because I'm pretty sure I've lost some. Just some's just there. They spawned. I'm pretty sure of it. So he's, I've got a male and female here. We might as well raise these. I'm not sure where. These are all my dinos I'm giving away for free. <laughs> Jesus, this guy's been to fucking work. Nice to see my giggers there. I haven't been on this server for a while. I, I obviously pop on just to make sure that me air, uh, me base doesn't despawn in that board. To be honest, I haven't been playing too much of Ark lately. I wonder if he's online. No. But he's been a busy lad. There's some aw you come across some awesome bases on PvE though. These guys are always building cool stuff. They're also lagging the server out as well. But I mean, look at that man. How creative must it be to build stuff like that? That's awesome, man. These guys have put a lot of work into their bases. I mean, I love my base and I'm proud of it, but fucking hell, it's only a square box to be honest. A square box with a roof on. That's about as creative as I, as I can get. Here's the first baby cracked. It's the level I want as well. If this guy's a male, oh fucking perfect. First one. Awesome. I mean, his colours are shit, pink. But I can change his colours later. 20k health, 9k melee, 900 melee, sorry. 
Perfect. Oh, so all the Meglers have been born. So that guy will be dying. Let's just get them all imprinted, we'll see what's here. Let's have a look what these are here. These are all too high level, so all them ones there is going to die. These four are the ones we're keeping. Nice. Three males and a female, and I've already got two females as well. So now I've got three males and three females of these which are the good stats that i want good stats good level shit colors i hate pink colors i do but whatever is what it is clear so we finally got some gigas cracked open just imprint on these and we'll see what melee we've got in them i'm not exactly sure all my gigas are either 555 or 755 melee so there'll be one or the other we're looking to get more 755s and 555s, obviously. Oh, there's another one cracked at the back. That one's 555. 755, nice. It's a female. 555 five, five, trash. I'll still raise all these trash ones anyway though. Let's see what this one is. They'll all come in handy. 755, five, nice, another one. Alright, cool. So I think we're going to end this one here. I'll do another update on how the breeding's coming along at the end of the event. Hopefully, we've got everything that we want. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.